Hmm, g'day, Tragic here, and welcome back to Mage Knight. Now, you're probably wondering why there's a second video. Well, it's because I want to finish this playthrough, and I want to get to my playtesting of my own knight. I'm making my own custom knight at the moment. It's going to be a necromancer. Not incredibly original, I know, but I'm going to make a necromancer. I'm also going to make a polar officer, like a life one as well. Maybe an, a treant or something like that, or a druid, uh, a dryad. Anyway, the point is I'm going to make a death and a life mage knight to play competitively against. And I want to start play testing them. And uh, I want to basically finish this game so I can start using the my time for playing digital games to do that. So... We're almost finished this game, so let's get on to it. It is Yig's turn. Now, Yig, it, oh wait, I've got to, I always forget that I've got to be on the black player with this mod. There we go. Now, what are we going to do here? We've got some gas now. We've got, why did I keep this influence card? Now, unfortunately, I'm not gonna have any Ability to, uh, I think you can take one monster into a den. No, oh, I can, yeah, so basically I can use my units in this location. So I've got an extra five attack here plus a five shield. I've got another four attack. I've got another attack here. I can gain crystals of any sort, and I've got a huge block. So we are doing this. Let's attack your blammo. What have we got? We did this block four against two different attacks. Oh, wait. That's not block four for two different attacks. It's block four between two. So it's actually only block two to each attack. Oh, wait. Hang on. <laughs> I knew that was too good to be true. Uh, what does this do? This does block four, though. So, let me just quickly rejig this. So, I'm going to basically do the same thing. I'm going to tap my magic familiar and get block four. So, that's boom. That's block four. This guy is blocked. And then I'm going to use this, block seven, and that blocks this guy. And then I cast Blood Ritual with a red mana die to get... A wound and I gain three mana tokens of any colors including on basics but that's fine and I'm gonna get three white crystals I only need two one does chivalry which is attack four reputation plus one and fame plus one so I just need to go minus minus there so I get plus one rep and plus one fame and then attack four that is a total of, that's four attack, that kills this guy, and this guy I only need eight attack, which is four, five, six, seven, eight. Hope that was clear. I'm pretty sure that's correct. Let's move on. Bammo. Level up, and we get quite a lot of rewards here, right? If you defeat both enemies, mark the spaces conquered with your shield and gain an artifact and three random crystals. That is, I don't know why I don't attack more of these things. That is an awesome reward, isn't it? What we got? What we got? Banner of Fear. That's such a good card normally, but we just don't. We tap both our units, so I'm going to take the bow. And we get to roll three mana dice. Bam. Oh, that guy was in the way. How annoying. So black gives us probably uh, fame. So black gives us another fame. Uh, wait, fame. Where is he? Oh, he's leveled up. Bam. And we also get a blue and a green. Okay, so that's the end of his turn. Boom. 
It is now the Wolf of the Hawk. Okay, so let's see what her hand's like. Oops. What is Wolf Hawk's hand like? I mean. Okay, so we have Chill. Enemy does not attack this combat and gets minus four armor. So that's pretty cool. But the thing is, this guy has Elusive. So the Elusiveness is only removed if you do a successful block. So if you stop him from attacking, he's still Elusive, which means he's got 16 armor. So with the minus four, that's still 12 attack we need to deal with. So how much attack can we produce? We've still got hardly any attack. We've got four, four, four uh, we've got five attack, basically. <laughs> What's this? Pay a, gain a wound, pay one mana of any color. Gain a card of that color from the advanced action offer and put it in your hand. Gain a wound to your hand or discard pile. Use the stronger effect of any card from the advanced action offer without paying the mana cost. The card remains in the offer. So what have we got here? We have attack four. We have influence. Plays at the start of combat. All your units get their attack and block values increased by three for this combat. You cannot assign... To, well, we don't have any units. So basically, we for a wound and a white die, we can get attack four. That's not too great, but it's better than nothing. So we could take that. We do have a red die here. So that's another four. So we have done eight damage. Uh, that's nine damage. So that's just not enough. It's not even close to enough. So we're going to use meditation. One time this night before any of your turns, you may shuffle up to five cards, including wounds from your hand, back into your deed deck, then draw that many cards. So let's keep the block. So we've got two choices. We can block or we can... Oh, no, that's what he... He's also got vampiric. God, I love this dragon. He's got vampiric. That means for every wound he inflicts, he actually gets plus armor. That's like my favorite dragon in the game. Yes, so we are going to, this guy's four block, four attack. Hmm, I don't know what's going on with the button here. It only says redraw, Wolfhawk Tactic 4, redraw three cards. You may discard up to five cards and then redraw that many cards. I don't know what's going on with that. I'm going to put these all into the, what do you put it in the discard pile? Put it back in my deed deck. One, two, and then draw four cards. One, oh, wait, how do I do that? One, two, three, four. Oh my God, it's even worse. We can produce five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Wow, without that card, he's, I should have saved this competitive card for... Uh, wow, this is terrible. Okay, I'm just going to discard two cards, three cards in my turn. God. Still terrible. Wow, he's going to be stuck there forever. Maybe we should go backwards. Okay, it is now Athena's turn. She is going to claim her cards, claim four cards. Bam. What have we got here? We have move, we have move, and we have move. Oh, that's so perfect. Two, four, six move. This is exactly what we need to go into the uh, top dungeon. Uh, why won't it let me attack now? What's going on? Oh, it's not her turn. Right, so what's uh, noise? Noise has got absolute tons of gas. So let's get up here. Right, so we need five to move into there and then we need to 
decide if we can fight this dragon. I don't think we can fight this dragon. This guy's got paralyze and we need to hit back for 14. Let's have a quick look at our hand. We have not, well, we've got two block. So paralyze will kill all our units. And yeah, so we can't fight that dragon. So we, we still need to five to get into here first, which I'm pretty sure we'll be able to do because we have a move in hand. So that's two, three, four. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tap this guy. That gives us two moves. So that's one, two, three, four, five move. So without paying a mana and only one card, we basically get into the, into here. And then we're gonna fight whatever dragon comes up because we can't kill that one with the paralyze. Okay, so this is a uh, kind of annoying. We've got to hit it back for 14, but at least we don't need any kind of fire, uh, fire stuff. We can't block that, so we take two wounds only. So that's quite fine. And now we need to produce 14 attack. So can we do that is the question. Uh, this guy's no use to us because it is actually three ice attack, which uh, basically means it's only one attack. Well, let's Let's use, the, let's use the sorting method that he actually put into the mod to see if it helps us. So we've got... Oh, no. He's made, them to, he, he's made them move too close to each other. So what he needs to do... So basically TTS has this thing where decks are going to be formed. It's got quite a big radius. So this forms a deck and it moves out one, right? And he's done it so you can read the attack value on the bottom. But if I put this one on here, it'll form a deck with the one below it and the other one, and then the mod won't split them. So that's kind of useless. Whatever. Let's uh, just get a bit of room. So that is six attack, seven, eight, nine, ten attack. Eleven, twelve, thirteen attack. 14 attack playing that sideways. Okay, so we can definitely do this. Yeah, so I'm going to go decompose and I'm going to decompose noble manners. That gives me two crystals to your inventory that are the same color as a thrown away card. I'm going to use a white here. I use a white here. And then I use mana draw to take two die from the source. That is one, two, one, two, and then I'm going to also cast this sideways for one physical attack. So that produces three, six, ten attack, and then this produces another three attack, and this produces one attack, which is four attack. So that's three, six, ten. 13, 14, which kills this guy, and we took two wounds, and that is the end of that. Now, the reason why I discarded this card over this card, even though this card is actually technically a, a cool card because it gives you fame and influence, you get points at the end of the game for how many advanced action cards you have in your deck, and this one is not an advanced action card. So anyway, that's the point of that, is that that is done. Oh, we level up and we get a conquest reward. Booyah. Get another. Now yeah, I'm just gonna claim the banner, bam. We also get a skill token. We've got a nice here. Oh, that's a pretty useless one. Green and white. That would have helped just recently. So I'm going to take the green and the white. And I'm going to take Righteous Path. Okay. So that's that. Rewards claimed. Now, he's got no cards in there. So we're going to play till the end of this entire round. It is Athena's turn. Now she is basically, we started her turn. So she is going to attack 
straight into here and hopefully win. Okay, so here's a mod error. You can go into different locations. So that see how there's actually snap points for each of the things. That's from my old mod, I think. But if I put myself on top of the six, I can't actually attack. But if I put it here, I get the attack symbol. But if you if I move it, if I the mod, if I pick it up again, the mod pulls the dragon away. So yeah. Whatever. The point is let's attack. Because we did one, two, three, four, five, six. Remember we used our tactic to draw all the, the four cards out. Uh, and this guy's an easy one to get rid of. Basically, we just need to block 10 and then kill him, and we can actually even use one unit. Okay, so I worked it out. That was a, There was quite a lot of permutations to this move. There was many different ways I could have killed him and blocked him, not blocked him, generated mana. There's a lot of stuff going on, so I'm just going to cut to now and show you what I did. And it does have a typical tragic dodge happening as well. <laughs> so whatever, let's go. Basically, we produce six move by going one, two, three, four, five, six, because it is dark. That saves us a card. Okay, so now we made it all the way to the top of the labyrinth. Now, when you enter labyrinths, you're supposed to bring one unit. You're allowed to bring one unit. Okay, so it's in the mod, but it's also in here somewhere there we are say so one unit okay now i didn't nominate the unit but obviously i would nominate this guy who blocks for eight attacks for five i don't think that's too much of a dodge saying that i would have bought him so then i tap that that gives me eight block which is enough to almost block this right so this has swiftness oh wait counts twice against swiftness so yeah so that actually blocks him completely so I even over-calculated. Whatever, the point is he's now blocked. Okay, that's a bummer. So I can't get rid of this thing. So what I will do. So anyway, this guy is blocked. Then I cast Mana Bolt. Mana Bolt, I need to use the blue crystal for my inventory. And I'm going to use Concentration to generate a blue mana token. Okay, so when you play when you play this card, pay an extra mana, and I'm going to get Ice Attack 8. So that is 8 attack, I need 9 to kill him. So there's something in this game is where you can't overpay. Like, so for example, this doing this, right, produces 3 attack, okay? Now I want to get rid of this wound in my hand. Now, I could technically discard this. Oh, wait. I haven't actually used a... I haven't actually used a single die yet, have I? Yeah, yeah. So that's what we're going to do. So then I do improvisation. That's three attack. I'm just discard like the other version of... Like I've got ritual attack, which is basically another version of improvisation, but makes your deck thinner as well. So that is another three. So we are doing a total of seven... 8, 9, 10 attack, which is plenty to kill this guy. So we've blocked him, we've killed him. And then we're going to take the green die and power both our heal, our heal and heal both these guys. Wow, there's so many different versions of that move. I got <laughs> well, the point is we've killed him. So in turn, you blamo. I've leveled up and I do have a site reward. I've forgotten what you get for this thing. I think you get, uh, oh, I get an artifact because I went to the deepest level. Banner of Glory or Banner of Fortitude. Both of these kind of suck for us. Now, I don't think you can assign banners to used units, right? So it doesn't actually say, I thought for some reason that you couldn't assign banners to spent units, but apparently you can. So we are gonna grab, I think Banner of Glory. Yeah, so I'm going to claim Banner of Glory. 
You know, I completely forgot that uh, the banners have these other effects. Let's have a look at this. Yeah, so basically what I need to do is unlock that and stick it there. Oh, wait. I wonder if that... I wonder if the score tracker doesn't track it now. Where are you, Thera? Adventurer. Look, doesn't, doesn't notice that I've done it. If I do this... Yeah. So that is a bit of an error in the mod. So what needs to happen is, he need, however this is recognizing this tile, it needs to be a little bit larger so you can, so the shield can be placed upon the level, leaving the other two available. So if another mage knight was me, near me, they could look at this and go, okay, level four hasn't been done. But if I put that there, it's actually out of whatever he's using to score that location. So that needs to be fixed. Whatever. No, no one's going to sit down there, get down there in time to make it matter for this game. Whatever. The point is we are done. Rewards claimed. But yeah, you know, I totally forgot that there's a, a throwaway effect that doesn't attach to units. It still affects units, but uh, some of these banners that I went past might have been all right to grab. Okay, we're back to Yig's turn. Yig, what do you got? You've still got... Oh, there it is. I knew he had a card that could do this. Where's the blue? Beautiful. Bam. As above, except move two spaces to a revealed safe space instead of one. You get a hand limit increased by two instead of... Or get your hand limit increased by two. So, play as your action for this turn. You may move to an adjacent re revealed safe space without provoking rampaging monsters. Ooh. So, he can go... How many turns are we going to get? This guy's gonna, this guy's gonna go next. He will not be able to do anything. So he's gonna declare end of round. Oh, can you heal in cities? What city have we got? The blue city. Ah, oh, no. So we can just buy spells here. Oh wait, he's got, he's got this guy to heal. Yeah. So he's gonna do a turn to heal those two wounds at uh, minus points at the end of the game. Yeah, so basically what I'm trying to say is that Yig's gonna get another turn after this. So he could go there, then he gets another turn, and then he gets another turn. So yeah, he's gonna use Temporal Portal. Can we get, what's this, 13? <laughs> yeah, so he's gonna get one, two to land in the city. And that's his action for the turn, so he can't actually do anything else. It is now... Did he draw? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. Yeah. He gets an extra one because he's in the city. Now it's Wolfhawk's turn. Let's see if she's actually drawn anything that can help her kill this thing. This is terrible. We really screwed her up. Okay, so that's the final result of all my thinking. We are attacking this guy, he attacks for eight. We have to use this dice though. We use the blue dice to get seven block, plus one is eight block, that means he's blocked. Vampiric doesn't trigger, elusive is no longer triggered, which means it's eight to kill. We have the toxin here, which gives us plus three attack. Then we use Concentration with one of our mana crystals to get plus two. So that is three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight attack with that. And then we play Blood Ritual on its side for nine, nine attack. Oh, wait, we only need eight. Six, seven, eight. So we, we don't even need to do that. Yeah, so whatever. <laughs> so that is... Three, six, seven, eight. For some reason, I thought that was nine uh, armor. And that's it. He's dead. So we've clear finally cleared that guy. Let's end that turn. And he levels up as well. Rewards claimed. Bammo. We're back to Norwez's turn. So Norwez is going to... May as well play this. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Made a little cut card version to go underneath it. That's actually quite cute. I like that. So we're going to tap that. We're going to use 
this to gain a green crystal, which we're going to pay for that because there's no green up here anymore. That's heal four, which heals bam, bam. And that's his turn. And you know what else he's going to do? He's going to do this. And that gets him move two. Actually, he's going to do it with the white crystal that he generated, white token, and he's going to get move four or attack four, gain one fame and one reputation. So he gains a fame, gains a reputation, and we're going to move into the city. Flip this around. To ready this unit. And that is the end of his go. Game over. Look at the final score. Doesn't he declare end of round next turn because he's got no cards? And then everyone gets one more turn? Is there special rules for the end of the day that I don't know of? <laughs> it's very possible. If the player's deed deck is empty at the start of his turn, that player may announce the end of the round instead of playing his turn. If, if he does, each other player takes one last turn. So why is this saying that the the game is over? Check the scenario description. Maybe there's something in the scenario description. When all map tiles are revealed and all dungeons and tombs are conquered. Oh, God, I'm an idiot. I completely forgot about that. Yeah, so uh, poor, old, poor old Yig doesn't get his second turn. <laughs> to fight the dragon. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, that was a bit of a screw up. Let's have a look at the final score. Bamo, we have 89 for Norwez, 88 for Yig, and 82 for Wolfhawk, and 89 for Athiel. So, so Nor I, I was complaining about Norwez the whole time, but he actually did three dungeons, a den, and got the greatest dungeon crawler. <laughs> that's the end of that that was a bit messy but at least it's over would you like to record this game's score on the public list I want to link to it on the mods work page the list contains the game's setups and scores and other players what the hell is he talking about he's, he's got some kind of I won't send my score because I make so many mistakes that's pretty cool let's have a look at this this is really one of the best mods on the entire the entire thing. Look at that, 95,000 subscribers. <laughs> Find the link to it on the mods workshop page. What link? There's a, there's a Mage Knight Wiz Kids link. There's another Mage Knight Wiz Kid link. Well, I don't know what he's talking about. I can't find, I can't find the link on the workshop page. Oh wait, maybe it's in. Nope. Discussions, comments, change notes. High score submit. Here it is. This link should be in the description of the, the description of the mod page. Okay, so he's got a. Oh, it's got a big list here to look through. Pivot tables. Wow, Tuff is a goddamn madman. <laughs> what an amazing idea to have the mod report wins to a database. God, i got to do that with my Arkham Horror mod. That is the coolest thing ever. He is a fucking nutcase. I can't believe the work he put into this. WizKids should hire this guy. Okay, whatever. Uh, yep, let's send my score. Four-handed solo competitive, tragic playthrough, many errors. Send score. Bam. Wow, I'm going to have to find out how he did that. That is awesome. Okay, so that is the end of that. And I will see you guys next time.